Hi, Lore. Today we're going to present our Biosphere 2 project with Lorenzo, who is this person here. Yes, say something, Lorenzo. Hey, hello, Lore. How are you? We're gonna present right now. So, the Biosphere. Yes, so let's begin. Let's enter the Biosphere through this sterilization thing, hallway that we can enter. Come uh, enter, Lorenzo. Okay. And we can press the button to kill any germs and anything that might be entering or leaving. So no, and also this is here, so no air is leaving or entering. There's no leakage. It's all sealed. So let's begin by showing you the biomes that are inside our biosphere. Lorenzo, could you tell us a bit about, so, about this biome? It Right here we have our first biome, which is a plains biome. It's performed with trees, some grass, a small little river over here, and that. So let's go to our next biome. Yes. Our next biome is the jungle. The jungle biome is, well, characterized by the many different tall trees, which all help to create uh, generate oxygen for our biosphere so the scientists can enjoy the act of breathing <laughs> and also some waters passing to irrigate the plants and bamboos and a lot of plants that create oxygen so it's very useful to have a jungle biome inside our biosphere. In here we've got our third biome, the desert, and Lorenzo tell us about that. So over here we have a uh, desert which is characterized by the dead bushes, the cacti, and these little flowers which are grown in cacti in certain seasons. Yes, this biome, it still generates oxygen through the sunlight and the photosynthesis, but it's very low on requirement of water, which is a nice perk of having it. And here, finally, we've got the aquatic and sea biome that have many corals and seaweed, which are very nice to have and generate oxygen and everything has a purpose. So now let's go to the south lung, I think. Yes. The south lung is a crucial part of our biosphere. There are actually two lungs in our biosphere. This is the south lung. And this one, it helps the biosphere, as you can see with the bubbles, to transform a carbon dioxide or CO2 into O2 or oxygen, which is an artificial process that it happens in the lungs. And also the lungs help pressurizing the air inside the entire biosphere so, so the pressure isn't harmful for life because we as humans and animals and plants have are accustomed to use uh, to living in one atmospheric pressure and it's very crucial to have this pressurization yes so let's go visit the farm lorenzo and lore <laughs> because you are also here in so the farm and over here we have our farm which we have some vegetables mm -hmm. as carrots potatoes and some wheat we also have chickens and cows which with this we produce a little bit of oxygen, not much since plants can't produce that much but we also get our food and yeah this is how we survive mainly with yes that is something very crucial where even more a bonus uh, uh, oxygen can be formed and food for the scientists so now let's see here this is the east lung the east lung is right at the end of this hallway that says hi Lore. So, <laughs> yes, let's go. The east lung is the same thing as the south lung, just that it's another uh, way to be more efficient and more, uh, more effective. So in here, we've got the lab and kitchen, which is a shared space for both. So Lorenzo talk about so that. Here we have a lab station in which we have, we which the world the scientists create the research about the biomes and about everything that's going on within the research fa facility. Here we have a storage section in which they keep all of their materials and things that they will use to create the, some experiments or new inventions. 
Yes. That's cool. Here we have a kitchen with some furnaces and stuff to cook, a nice little table in which they're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. And finally, the kitchen. The kitchen is where, well, the scientists will cook their, their food with the animals that they have there. A concern that some people might have is the smoke that you can see here. Well, the smoke will be uh, will be take uh, will take care of the smoke because this material making making the walls and the glass does not absorb the smoke. It's called the material of the walls is called green concrete, and the green concrete is is a variant of concrete that doesn't absorb gases. So they can go through pipes towards the, the lungs. So the CO2 from the smokes can become oxygen artificially. And that's also something very nice in this biosphere. And here we can see other angles of the, of the biomes and the core over there that we can see, I will explain later. This is our, um, like, the scientists' bedroom, bedrooms, where they will sleep and they can find our space suits, which is, which both me and Lorenzo is wearing right now. And these are needed for scientists to enter, no, to leave the, the biosphere, so they can have oxygen, and whenever they leave, they need to bring one of these. These, as it's labeled here, is our re reserved oxygen tanks for emergencies and for leaving the the biosphere because there is no atmosphere in the country in the country. No, sorry, in the planet that the biosphere will be situated. So, Lorenzo, let's talk about this so, observatory. Once you go in up here. We have a little observatory, here we have a telescope in which you can see in the far the Earth. And mm -hmm. right next to the telescope we have a computer in which they communicate with the people that are in Earth or other, and do... or other planets. Yes. So right now Pedro is going to show tell, tell you about the information, structure, essential features and technological aid. Of course. So the information that we were requested to answer are the constraints. There are a few constraints regarding our biosphere, which are the air pressure and oxygen levels must be um, adequate for life and the temperature too. So it's really something necessary for life. Another thing is enough food. Enough food is necessary for the scientists to survive. And then the amount of light entering must not be harmful. To cope with this, we made tinted glass be the standard uh, type of glass used. And this type of tinted glass actually protects from the harmful sun rays or, or the other star rays. It's still not decided where this planet we're currently in is. So yes, it's to protect from the sun. And the fourth uh, constraint is that water must be recycled for more usage because water is not something we can uh, easily create and it's recycling. We need to recycle water and that's crucial. Another essential feature. Essential features that we have are sterilization process before entering and exiting the biosphere, which is right the first part of our uh, project. Then we need the non-glass wall material, which is just the walls. They are made of green concrete, as already specified, and it doesn't absorb carbon dioxide or oxygen, which is something very needed for our project. And then in the third essential feature, we've got that we need to, the everything, every single waste and water will be collected. I know it kind of says the same as this one, but this one also says the waste. And all of that will occur in the lab where the scientists can actually do their processes to recycle and also in the farm a little bit with the waste. And yes, that's an essential feature. Another feature that I already told you is about the tinted glass that will protect from harmful light. So I won't go very deep on that because I already told you. 
Finally, the technological aid. The technological aids we used is that in the lungs, CO2 will be become uh, oxygen artificially. And then the core, which I will show you in a minute, is where the oxygen and energy gets distributed to the entire biosphere. So let's go to the core. Okay. This core, right here, right on the top, is suspended on the air, and it has a very crucial purpose. Let me go up. Its purpose is, as I said, going to um, send energy and the oxygen to the entire biosphere. And what, how? Through these wires. These are wires that will go to the floor where there are many different pipes or wires that send, send these um, things oxygen and water and energy sorry the energy in the biosphere will be generated through solar panels and also i would like to say that we made uh, very beautiful stars in the sky to be in the atmosphere to to enter the the mood of the project and that's our biosphere thank you lorenzo what do you yeah, so i would like to thank everyone Lore or any other that's watching this video. Yes. And thank you for listening to our project. Yes. Let me show you from outside if you, I don't know, want to see how big it is. But yes. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.